If you're struggling with your contact and you feel like your arms and your body are not quite working in sync, stay tuned. I've got a great drill using two tees, which is really gonna assist with your connection and getting a better strike on that golf ball. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here in the studio once again at Joondalup Resort. Okay, today's video is all about connection. The connection between your arms and your body throughout the motion. So let's show you first of all of what we see players do, which then causes some ball striking issues down the line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up to this golf ball and from the address position, we generally see a couple of things. The arms move and separate off the golf ball. The turn of the body gets to the top, the trail arm flies, or in the downswing, all of a sudden, the lead arm comes off the body. A lot of chicken wing action on the way through. From the face on, it looks like this. Right arm separating off the body, coming around, bit of a loop, lead arm separating off the body. Now, when your arms and your body don't work in sync, this causes a whole bunch of ball striking issues down at the bottom. So what we're looking for here is to create a better connection between what the body and the arms are doing throughout the entirety of the motion. And one of the best ways to do that is to use this simple little T drill. So what I've got here is I've got two T's and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place them under each armpit. Now in doing this, what this is gonna allow us to do is just gonna bring some awareness to how our arms and our body are moving throughout the motion. So really when you set your arms on top, I don't want them to be too much by the side, okay? If your arms are too much by the side, when you set up to the golf ball, you can see how bunched up I am. I really want you to try and set your arms so they feel a little bit more on top of your body rather than to the side. So even if that means that you need to straighten your arm and bring it out in front of you before you put your arms on. So pretty much in the address position, I'm setting up here, you can see my arms are structured and in front and I've got a T, as you can see, just in each armpit, slightly exposed towards the camera. So this for me feels like a very normal or standard setup position. And the objective with this exercise here to get the arms and the body working in fashion together is to simply hit shots without the arms separating from the body and the T's falling out. Now, if you get this wrong, you will get some immediate feedback. If I have any degree of separation with that left arm, straight away the T pops out. If my arms drift off my body in the backswing, well, you can see it happened once again. Even for those of you who maybe make a really functional backswing, but then on the way through, for one reason or another, the arms start separating and lifting, you get a little bit of a chicken wing, that T once again is gonna fall out. So really, there's no escaping this drill whatsoever. So, get these T's, let's chuck them both under our armpits like this. And when you start this drill, what I want you to do is just start off by making some really small swings back and through, getting the sensation of keeping those arms and your upper torso connected and tight. We don't wanna feel that getting loose throughout the motion. From the address position, little swings back and through. Yeah, I can keep my arms straight and I can allow some wrist hinge to happen, but at no stage do I want those arms to overbend or move around my body. Those T's are gonna drop out and we're gonna know straight away that we maybe haven't moved as well as we could. Once you've done that, start off with some small shots. Getting a feeling of that point of connection. Now, you won't really, in reality, be able to make full swings here. And that's okay, because we're not really trying to create a full motion. All we're doing is from the crucial parts of the golf swing, meaning address, halfway back, impact, and halfway through, keeping that point of connection. At the top of the swing, yeah, the arms might fly off a little bit, and in the follow through, certainly as well as your arms move to a complete finish position. We're not really focusing on that. What we're doing is we're trying to keep this connection through that really crucial, important impact zone. So when doing this drill, I would say max it out at about three quarters speed, finishing with your arms still connected and the club out in front, almost like you're getting a punch shot sensation. That there, eight iron, still goes about 150, which is a little bit shorter than a normal shot, but it's gonna encourage your body to move powerfully through the ball. It's gonna encourage those arms to stay connected. It's gonna feel quite strong when you're able to keep them moving in unity like how they would. So if you film your swing and you can see your body and your arms don't look quite in sync, you're seeing some separation with certain parts of your body throughout the motion, well then definitely try this drill. A little bit of connection between the arms and the torso can go a long way to creating some more consistency with your ball striking. 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell. But until next time, I'm Kara Gray. Thanks for watching.